later this evening, when the news was on. Tonight on GNN News, the people of Rapper City can finally breathe a sigh of relief. The Punishers have been found once again and defeated by the insurgency. To add further insult to the formerly escaped convicts, their leader, Tiana Morera, has been bested by a four-year-old girl who ironically learned how to fight. I mean, come on. A child abuser taking a beating from a little girl. That's so hilarious. Ha 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 ha. She totally had that coming. Ha 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 ha. But in all seriousness, in one week from now, the Punishers will stand trial for their four year long run from the law and the judge will decide whether or not they're guilty. And that's all for tonight from GNN News. Until the day of the trial comes, we now return you to our regularly scheduled program. This is Ankum and George Cummingham, signing off. One week later, at the courthouse. Great. We're back to where we started. I can't believe we got bested by a four-year-old brat. And the worst part is, our exes and children are gonna testify against us. Again, this is gonna be the worst day of our lives. All rise for the Honorable Judge Alfred Smith. Great. Here comes the judge. Silence. Order in the court. Okay, everybody. You may all be seated now. Court is now in session. Boris and Tiana Renderson, you two and the rest of your gang, have been given additional charges for the following crimes, that have been committed for four years. Prosecutor Henry Maverick, read the charges. Boris and Tiana Anderson, you and your gang were given an additional charge for attempted escapade from four years ago. But you two were given two extra charges for the following, hosting an illegal wedding, and additional counts of child abuse. How do you two plead? Not guilty. The wedding we hosted wasn't illegal. It was completely legal, by the book. I agree with Boris. Not guilty. Actually, my first witness suggests otherwise. Speaking of which, may I have Mamia Will Humphrey up to the stand, please? The priest who participated at our weddings testifying against us? That is correct. Anyway, Your Honor, Boris and Tiana weren't a married couple by legal rights. Four years ago, they hosted an illegal wedding against not just my will, but against the wills of their own families from their previous marriages. They even overruled the objections of their ex-houses, Miss Martin, and especially Crow Tune Productions Incorporated by threatening to slap him in the face. That's not how weddings work. Henceforth, I say they are guilty and I hope that the next time I get a couple married, the couple better not be a pair of child abusers. Thank you, Mamia Wold Humphrey. I call upon my next witness, Defendant Miss Martin. Are you serious? Miss Martin's testifying against us? That's right, Bonnie and Clyde. Anyway, Your Honor, four years ago, the Punishers and I escaped from jail after being sentenced to 30 years in prison. The next day, however, Boris and Tiana hosted an illegal wedding and forced me. Diesel Gavin, Doris, and their children from their previous marriages to attend it against our wills. Tiana even tried to kill Rosie for helping Caillou protect Eliza. As contrary to the trouble I caused in the past, those two are no better. They're even worse than I ever was. While I plead myself guilty for escaping from jail, I say that the not-so-happy couple are guilty for everything else. Thank you, Miss Martin. I call upon my next witness. Alan McShane? Boris and Tiana have become even more dangerous child abusers than ever before. Four years ago, they orchestrated the Punisher's escape from jail and hosted an illegal wedding. Then they abused their newborn daughter Eliza for minor and false reasons. On a separate note, my ex-wife, Rachel, escaped from jail again and cheated on me with another inmate. Therefore, I say they're guilty. Thank you Officer McShane. I call upon my next witness, Brainy Academ. Boris and Tiana have gone even madder than before. Four years ago, they escaped from prison alongside the rest of the Punishers. Then they hosted an illegal wedding. Then they started abusing their daughter, Eliza, two weeks ago for a whole day. And last week, they threatened to give her a punishment day for calling the police on them. Therefore, I say they're guilty. Thank you Brainiac Adam. I call upon my next witness, Angelina Armstrong. 
Boris and Tiana have gone completely insane. Four years ago, they escaped from jail with the rest of the Punishers. Then they hosted an illegal wedding, and finally, they abused their own daughter Eliza two weeks ago. Meanwhile, one of the Punishers, Rachel, tried to kill me and my family as payback for infiltrating the whole gang. But lucky for us, the previous witness, Alan, pinned Rachel down to the ground allowing us to get to the airport in time to catch our flight to the Philippines. Therefore, I say that Boris and Tiana are guilty. Thank you, Angelina. I call upon my next witness, Maria. Boris and Tiana are starting to become dangerous criminals on an international level. One member of their gang in particular recruited my ex-husband, then, to join them. Therefore, I say they're guilty. Thank you, Maria. I call upon my next witness, Luigi. Mr. Anderson and Miss Moreira had been a bad influence on my crazy papa. One member of the Punishers in particular, Miss Otole, sprung in free and fell in love with him. Therefore, I say they're guilty. Thank you, Luigi. I call upon my next witness, Ken Stevens. Boris and Stephanie's mom have been a bad influence to my dad. One of those so-called punishers in particular, Dungo's dad, recruited him to replace Miss Martin after she quit. Then they had my dad keep Eric, his dad, and Doris occupied before Stephanie's mom broke into her own house to punish that Eliza girl they were looking for. Therefore, I say those psychopaths are guilty. Thank you, Ken. I call upon my next witness, Sarah Stevens. Say what? Ken's mother's testifying against us too? Yeah! That's right. Anyway, your Yona, Boris and Tiana have been a bad influence to Rick, like my son Ken said. They had Herman Kane recruit Rick to join the Punishers. Rick was bad enough of a father as it is because he injected testosterone into Ken's system to make him extremely aggressive, but joining these so-called Punishers is even worse. Therefore, I say the defendants in question are guilty. And as for Rick, I'm gonna file him for a divorce and take full custody of Ken. What? Sarah, you can't. You wouldn't. Yes. I can. I would. Enjoy prison as a single man, you tebs and quack. Why? Thank you, Sarah. And you can sign the divorce papers after the trial. I call upon my next witness, Doris Miller. My ex-husband has shown no remorse after being sentenced to 30 years in prison, but Tiana's no better. She's become creepy, crazy, and obsessed with jealousy at the same time. Four years ago, they both escaped from jail with the rest of the Punishers and forced me, Diesel Gavin, Miss Martin, and our children to attend their wedding against our wills. Then they broke into my house, Tiana demanded Caillou to hand Eliza over and Boris threatened to give him a concussion for refusing to do so. And finally, when Cole, Maria, and I joined the insurgency, Tiana tried to kill me in order to prove who's the better wife for Boris. Therefore, I say they're guilty. Thank you, Doris. I call upon my next witness, Caillou Anderson. My dad and Stephanie's mom have become psychotic, out-of-control monsters. Four years ago, they escaped from jail with their gang and forced me, my siblings and mom, Miss Martin, and the rest of Stephanie's family to attend their wedding against our wills. Then two weeks ago, they abused my half-sister Eliza for a whole day. Then they broke into my house last week, snuck into my room, and demanded me to hand her over. And finally, my dad tried to give me a concussion for refusing to hand Eliza over to them. Therefore, I say they're guilty. Excuse me? Young man, but you don't ever talk about me and your father like that again. You hear me? I am your stepmother and you will treat me with respect. You're not my mom. You never had full custody of me. And my dad lost his custody of me four years ago the last time you two stood trial. Now go away and leave us alone, you. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, uh. You will not call me a psycho Karen. I'm tired of people calling me that. You better not or else I'll beat you senseless. Silence. Order in the court. Order in the court. Tiana, you will not lay one single finger on Caillou. Now go back to where you were before and be quiet. Consider yourself lucky, you bald little pervert. I said be quiet. Anyway, I call upon my next witness, Rosie Anderson. My dad and Stephanie's mom are a couple of psychopaths. Four years ago, they did two of the following. 
First they escaped from jail with the rest of these so-called punishers. Then they hosted an illegal wedding and forced me, Miss Martin, and the rest of mine and Stephanie's respective families to attend it against our wills. Then they started abusing my half-sister, Eliza, two weeks ago. And last week, they broke into my house and demanded Caillou to hand her over. And finally, Tiana tried to kill me. Therefore, I say they're guilty. Thank you Rosie. I call upon my next witness, Cody Anderson. My dad and Stephanie's mom have become way worse than an entitled couple. They escaped from jail with the Punishers and forced our families and Miss Martin to attend their wedding. Then they started abusing my half-sister Eliza for a whole day and hunted her down all throughout town in the hopes of punishing her for calling the police on them. Therefore, I say they're guilty. Thank you Cody. I call upon my next witness, Daisy Anderson. My dad and Stephanie's mom have become extremely vindictive. They forced me and our families and Miss Martin to attend their wedding and abused my half-sister Eliza. Therefore, I say they're guilty. Thank you Daisy. I call upon my next witness, Emily Anderson. My dad and Tiana took being overly strict to a whole new level in the most psychotic way possible. They escaped from jail with the other punishers and hosted an illegal wedding. Then they started abusing my half-sister Eliza two weeks ago. Therefore, I say they're guilty. Thank you Emily Anderson. I call upon my next witness, Lily Anderson. Lily, don't you dare testify against us young lady. Sorry Tiana, but you leave me no choice. Your Honor, my dad and Tiana added a lot of further insult to her betraying my trust. First they escaped from jail with the Punishers, then they forced me, Stephanie, our respective families, and Miss Martin to attend their legal wedding. Then they abused my half-sister, Eliza, for a whole day two weeks ago, and finally, they broke into our house and demanded Caillou to give Eliza back to them and our dad tried to give him a concussion while Eliza got chased by her mom. Therefore, I say they're guilty. Thank you Lily. I call upon my next witness, Sephar Anderson. My dad and Stephanie's mom are even crazier than before. Four years ago, they escaped from jail with the rest of the Punishers. Then they forced our families and Miss Martin to attend their wedding. Then they started abusing my half-sister, Eliza a whole day two weeks ago. And finally, they broke into our house and while Tiana chased after Eliza, my dad tried to give Kedu a concussion but got intercepted by my mom. Therefore, I say they're guilty. Thank you Sapphire. I call upon my next witness, Hannah Renderson. My dad and Tiana are bad parents and have become even more dangerous child abusing criminals than they were before. First they escaped from jail with the Punishers four years ago. Then they forced me, my siblings and mom, Miss Martin, and the rest of Stephanie's family to attend their wedding around that same time frame. Then they started abusing my half-sister Eliza two weeks ago for a whole day. And one week later, they chased her all throughout town and broke into my family's house along the way. Therefore, I say they're guilty. Thank you Hannah. I call upon my next witness. Agnes Anderson. My dad and Stephanie's mom are the most dangerous child abusers to ever live in this city. First they escaped from jail four years ago with the rest of the Punishers. Then they forced me, Stephanie, the rest of our families, and Miss Martin to attend their wedding. Then two weeks ago, they started abusing my half-sister, Eliza, for a whole day. And finally, they've been hunting Eliza down, breaking into my family's house in the process in order to give her a punishment day for calling the police on them. Therefore, I say they're guilty. Thank you Agnes. I call upon my next witness, Amanda Randerson. My dad and Stephanie's mom have really crossed the line this time. They escaped from jail four years ago with the rest of the Punishers. Then they hosted an illegal wedding. Then two weeks ago, they began abusing my half-sister Eliza. And finally, they chased her all throughout town breaking into my family's home in the process, in order to punish Therefore, her. Therefore, I say they're guilty. Thank you Amanda. I call upon my next witness, Diesel Gavin. Boris and my ex-wife had gone completely crazy. Four years ago, they escaped from jail with the rest of the Punishers. Then they forced me, Doris, Miss Martin, and our kids to attend their wedding. Four years after that, they started abusing their own daughter, Eliza, for one day. And finally, they chased her all throughout town, breaking into the Anderson house in the process, 
to my house to give her a punishment day for calling the police on them. Therefore, I say they are guilty. Thank you, Dizel Gavin. I call upon my next witness, Eric Gavin. Boris and my mom are such bad parents. First they escaped from jail four years ago with the Punishers. Then they forced me, my younger siblings and my dad, Miss Martin, Doris, and the Anderson kids to attend their wedding. Then two weeks ago, they started abusing Eliza for a day. And last week, they chased her all the way to my family's house, breaking into the Anderson house along the way, to give her a punishment day for calling the police on her. Therefore, I say they're guilty. Thank you Eric. I call upon my next witness, Stephanie Gavin. Boris and my mom have become a couple of psychopaths. Four years ago, they escaped from jail with the Punishers. Then they went to the forest to kidnap me and Natalie. Then they forced us, our dad and siblings, Miss Martin, and the Anderson kids and their mom to attend their wedding. Then they started abusing my half-sister, Eliza, two weeks ago. And just last week, they chased her all the way to our house to punish her for calling the police on them. And as my mom broke into our house, she spanked my younger siblings. Unfortunately for my mom, Eliza saved herself by challenging her to a fight and successfully defeated her. At first, my dad ordered me and my siblings to protect her, but in the end, what Eliza did in my room was the bravest thing I've ever seen. Nevertheless, I say that my mom and Boris are guilty. Thank you Stephanie. I call upon my next witness, Natalie Gavin. Boris and my mom have gone completely insane. Four years ago, they escaped from jail with the Punishers. Then they went to the forest to kidnap me and Stephanie. Then they forced us, our siblings and dad, Miss Martin, Rosie, and Katie's siblings and mom to attend their wedding. And two weeks ago, they abused my half-sister Liza for a day. Then last week, they changed her all the way to our house, breaking into the Anderson house along the way to give her punishment day for calling the police on them. And finally, when my mom barged in to look for Liza, she spanked me, Terence, Elizabeth, and Joseph before going upstairs to find her in Stephanie's room. Therefore, I say they're guilty. Thank you, Natalie. I call upon my next witness, Terence Gavin. Boris and my mom have gone too far with our families this time. Four years ago, they escaped from jail with the Punisher. Then they forced me, my siblings and dad, Miss Martin, Rosie, and Caillou's mom and siblings to attend their wedding. Then two weeks ago, they abused my half-sister Eliza for a day. Then they chased her all the way to my family's house in order to give her a punishment day for calling the police on them. Somewhere along the way, they broke into the Anderson house and demanded Caillou to hand the Eliza over to them. And when my mom barged into our house to look for Eliza, she spanked me, Natalie, Elizabeth, and Joseph before finding her in Stephanie's room. Therefore, I say they're guilty. Thank you Terence. I call upon my next witness, Elizabeth Gavin. Boris and my mom have shown no remorse for any of their actions at all ever since the last time they got arrested along with the Punishers. Four years ago, they escaped from jail. The next day around that time frame, Boris and my mom forced me, my siblings and my dad, Miss Martin, Doris, Rosie, and the Anderson siblings to attend their wedding. Then two weeks ago, they started abusing my half-sister, Eliza, for a whole day. Then last week, they tried to hunt her down in order to give her a punishment day for calling the police on them. And finally, my mom spanked me, Natalie, Terence, and Joseph. Therefore, I say they're guilty. Thank you Elizabeth. I call upon my next witness, Joseph Gavin. Boris and my mom have completely lost their minds. First they escaped from jail with the Punishers and forced our respective families and Miss Martin to attend their wed and they started abusing my half-sister, Eliza, for a whole day. Then they chased her all the way to our house to give her a punishment day for calling the police on them. And finally, when my mom got inside, she spanked me, Natalie, Terence, and Elizabeth before going to Stephanie's room to look for Eliza. Therefore, I say they're guilty. Thank you Joseph Gavin. I call upon my next two witnesses, Crotoon Productions Incorporated and Crow Girl 22. Boris and Tina have become even crazier than before. Four years ago, they escaped from jail with the rest of the Punishers. 
The next day, they forced their respective exes and children from their previous marriages and Miss Martin to attend their wedding against their wills and objections. And before the Punishers escaped, Tina slagged me in the face for the second time and threatened to do it a third time if I tried to object to their marriage. And two weeks ago, they started abusing Eliza for a whole day in the following ways. As Tiana did to Natalie, she blew an air horn at Eliza at 5.30 in the morning. Then she gave her a hard-boiled egg as a punishment for being a sleepyhead while she gave herself and Boris French toast. And finally, she spanked her for calling her crazy. And like Boris did to Caillou, he grounded her for a whole day for being ungrateful and then for a week for taking a walk around the street. And after when Eliza called the police on her parents upon watching the news under our instructions, Tiana initially threatened to spank her for doing so. But when Eliza refused to turn around, bend over, and let her spank her, Tian then threatened to give her an extremely brutal punishment day containing countless punishments. And finally, Boris and Tiana chased their own daughter all throughout town and broke into the Anderson house to demand Caillou to hand her over. As a result, Eliza ran all the way to the Gavin house where Tiana barged in to spank Natalie, Terence, Elizabeth, and Joseph before finding her in Stephanie's room. Therefore, Crow Girl 22 and I say that Boris and Tina are clearly guilty as charged. Thank you Crow Toon Productions Incorporated and Crow Girl 22. And finally, I call upon my last witness, Eliza Anderson. Eliza, don't you dare testify against us young lady. If you do, you'll be grounded for the rest of your pathetic life. Sorry mom and dad, but you leave me no choice. Your honor. My parents are nothing but a bunch of psychotic, child-abusing criminals. Before I was born, they escaped from jail. Then they forced all of my half-siblings, their exes, and former Punisher Miss Martin to attend their legal wedding. Then four years after when I was born, my parents started abusing me two weeks ago for a whole day in the following ways. First my mom blew an air horn at me at 5.30 in the morning. Then she wrongfully punished me for being a sleepyhead by giving me a hard-boiled egg for breakfast instead of giving me French toast with her and my dad. Then she spanked me for calling her crazy which I only did because she threatened to do so if I don't eat the hard-boiled egg. Then my dad grounded me for being a pick eater. Then both of my parents extended my grounding time for taking a walk outside our apartment building. Then my mom threatened to spank me for calling the police on her and my dad. And when I refused to let my mom spank me again, she threatened to give me an extremely brutal punishment day containing an infinite amount of punishments before I ran away. Then they chased me all throughout town and broke into the houses of my half-siblings in order to take me back to where I was born and raised and begin the punishment day. And finally, as she barged into her old house, my mom spanked Natalie, Terence, Elizabeth, and Joseph before running into Stephanie's room to retrieve me before I fought her back. I hate my parents so much. They're supposed to love me but it's the exact opposite. I don't want to live with them anymore. Therefore, I say they're guilty. Thank you, Eliza. You, backstabbing little brat. When we get our hands on you, we're gonna... Arara. Not so fast. You sick monsters will not lay one single finger on that little girl. And it's clearly obvious that you two are bad parents and hardened criminals like she said. And based on the evidence and according to all witnesses' stories, I find you, Boris and Tiana. Guilty. Therefore, you and the rest of the Punishers, with the exception of Miss Martin, will now be sentenced to 75 years in prison. As for Miss Martin, since she already pleaded herself guilty and voluntarily turned herself in, she'll be pardoned under contract and be cleared of every charge up to this point. Under the condition of this contract, if she returns to her entitled and abusive ways, the contract will be terminated, and she will be sent back to prison without parole. Actually, you don't have to worry about that last part. Because from now on, I'm retiring from my entitled behavior and will never abuse any children again. No going back. Mark my words, Miss Martin. This isn't the last you and Eliza have seen of us. We will have our revenge. Yeah, whatever. Ha 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 In your face. You lost, and I win. Take that losers. Enjoy life in jail, psychopaths. Officers Larson and Flute, take them away. All right, Morrison Tiana, this is your cell.
You two and the rest of the punishers except Miss Martin will be staying in jail for 75 years. Don't even trick about escaping again. And before we go, Eliza will no longer be your daughter and will be under the protection and guardianship of your exes. Enjoy watching them get married, child abusing scum. Doris and Diesel Gavin are gonna get married and take full custody of our own daughter. You can't have them do this to us, you sneaky cops. Let me out of here, let me at him. I'll make them pay for this humiliation. Honey, get a hold of yourself. Calm down. Um, Dallas, I don't think bringing up Doris and Diesel gave it's wedding's a smart move. You just may be on angry. Yeah, Drake, I think you're right. Well? Whether Tiana escapes or not, we need to consult a psychiatrist for her so that she can control her temper. Let's just go to the commissioner before things get out of hand. We've said enough in front of those inmates. Nice going, Boris. Thanks to you trying to stop me from giving those officers a piece of my mind, they now think that I'm insane. I was only trying to prevent us from either getting a life sentence or executed. Which would have happened if you started a fight with officers Flute and Larson, but one way or another, we'll get our revenge on our exes and Miss Martin, as well as everyone else who did us wrong. Ugh. Fine. I'll let them off the hook this once, but as for you, Doris and Diesel Gavin, wherever you are, if you two think you're gonna take full custody of our daughter and get married, think again. We will not be denied. You two and Eliza want hardened criminals, huh? Happy to play the part. Meanwhile with Doris and Easel Gavi. I'm so glad we decided to get married and repair the damages our exes made to our families. I agree with you Doris. Together you and I can give Eliza and her half-siblings a better life than they were before. Um, excuse me but, are you Doris Miller and Diesel Gavin? Officer Riggs. What are you doing here? Actually you can call me Roy. I'm not on duty at the moment. And for starters, I'm sorry to hear about Boris and Tiana abusing your children and Eliza. When we were members of the Mad Dogs, I didn't expect them to become criminals. You're a military veteran? Yeah. But my past is kinda complicated. The three of us along with two other members, Lucas West and Slav, were teenagers fighting alongside the U.S. Army back in the day. And apparently it drove Boris and Tiana to become child abusers. Tell me about it. I myself have a son who loves to cause trouble, but I would never abuse him. I would only ground him and send him to juvie. But aside from that, I heard that you two decided to get married. So Alan and I wanted to ask if we could be the groomsmen for the wedding. Really? You'd do that? Of course. You two would actually make a better couple than Boris and Tiana could ever be. Well, Roy. You and Alan have our permission. Now let's get to work. It took a month for Doris, Diesel Gavi, Roy Ritz, and Alan McShane to prepare for the wedding, but they had some help from the insurgency in the Gavin and Anderson kids. Let's see what happens next. Dearly beloved, we are all gathered here today to celebrate the marriage of Johnny Diesel Gavin and Doris Miller. If anyone objects to this marriage and does not think that these two should be wed, speak now or forever hold your peace. After a brief moment of silence, well then, since there are no objections, do you, Diesel Gavin, take Doris to be your lawfully wedded wife till death does you part? I do. And do you, Doris Miller, take Diesel Gavin to be your lawfully wedded husband till death does you part? I, I do. Then by the power vested in me, by the entirety of Rapper City, I now pronounce you, husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> This wedding is so much better than the previous one from four years ago. I can't believe I got the child abusers married in the first place. Agreed. I feel like I'm gonna cry. This was the most romantic thing I've ever seen. This wedding is so much better than Boris and Tina's wedding. Manuel actually did get a chance to marry a normal couple for once instead of a couple of child abusers. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this movie. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. This is Crotune Productions Incorporated. And this is Crow Girl 22 signing, signing off. Signing off. The end.